My name is Allison Snyder, and my presentation is on reality shock experienced by new graduate nurses. Here I have listed the learning objectives. At the end of the presentation, the learner will be able to do the following. To be able to explain reality shock and its four phases, to be able to describe how new nurses are affected by reality shock, and to be able to explain how healthcare and society are impacted by reality shock of new graduate nurses. So what is reality shock? According to Wakefield 2018, Reality shock is the experience of moving from the comfortable and familiar role of the pre-registration nursing student to the professional registered nurse. This is also often referred to as transition shock. So there are four phases of reality shock. The first phase is the honeymoon phase. This is when new nurses are excited and optimistic about their new career path and are ready to start their journey as a nurse. The second phase is the shock phase. This is when new nurses struggle with what they were taught in nursing school versus how they're supposed to practice in the workplace. During this time, they may feel rejected, become withdrawn, and may also deal with increased fatigue and illness. The third phase is the recovery phase. This is when new nurses learn to cope with issues they may be experiencing in their new role as a nurse and their level of anxiety is decreased. And the fourth and final phase is the resolution phase. This is when the new nurse is either able to cope and transition to the role of a nurse or they become burned out and they ultimately decide to choose a new career path. So what is the relevance of reality shock on graduate nurses? There is a gap between nursing school education and first year practice. This gap leads to new nurses not being prepared for their first year of work experience and may lead to individuals being unsatisfied with their job. Graduate nurses are also not prepared for the fast-paced work environment and culture, shift work, and acuity and workload of patients. All of these may be due to lack of clinical experiences and not having the opportunity to care for a full patient load very often while in school. So what is the influence of reality shock on nursing practice? So new nurses face fear and stress. This comes from the possibility of making a medication error accidentally causing harm to patients, afraid of having a lawsuit filed against them, not feeling prepared, and being worried about what would happen during an emergency situation. Another factor that influences nursing practice is when graduate nurses have negative perceptions, experiences, and also experience a lack of support, which can result in decreased confidence. In order to promote confidence and competence in new nurses, colleagues, peers, patients and physicians need to provide the new nurse with positive support and feedback. This not only leads to improved nursing care, but also helps to retain new nurses and allow them to feel comfortable in their role as a nurse. And this is also a time when development of personal and professional identity is established. This is when new nurses are discovering who they are as a nurse and what they want to accomplish throughout their career. By developing a sense of identity, nurses will be able to provide competent and quality care at the bedside. So what impact does reality shock have on healthcare? Here I have identified four ways that healthcare is impacted by reality shock. The nurse's ideal role performance versus reality of practice, high turnover rates, dissatis dissatisfaction with career and job, and nurse burnout. These four items all contribute to nursing shortages and nurse retention rates. If nurses are expecting one role and experience another, they may decide that it's not the job for them and may leave the profession due to job dissatisfaction and pursue another career. This can contribute to nursing shortages due to high turnover rates. Also, when people are constantly leaving the profession, this can put a strain on individuals that are left behind, leading to burnout as they are working under subpar conditions. That is why it is extremely important that new nurses experience a positive orientation that involves positive constructive criticism in order to help them grow and be satisfied in their role as a nurse. So what impact does reality shock have on society? Our number one concern is patient safety. When nurses may feel extremely competent at the time of graduation and then reality shock sets in during nursing practice, they can feel stressed and inadequate with providing care, which causes concerns regarding patient safety. When nurses do not feel competent and are stressed, errors may occur. These errors can lead to an increased length of stay and cause possible physical and psychological harm and or discomfort to the patient. However, not only can length of hospital stay be increased, but hospital costs are also increased as well. 
In order to improve patient safety, it is recommended that nursing education begins at the undergraduate level and continues through all postgraduate courses. And lastly, patient safety directly affects patient satisfaction and how likely the patient is to recommend care to a friend, peer, family member, colleague, etc. It is our goal to provide quality patient care that is both safe and patient-centered, as well as leave a positive impact and experience on patients so if they had to come back or recommend us to someone, they would do so. And to wrap everything up, we need to make sure to be able to recognize reality shock and how to prevent it from negatively impacting new nurses, be able to encourage a positive learning atmosphere by providing adequate support and positive feedback to new nurses to ensure that they are providing quality care and are satisfied with their job. This will also help decrease stress and anxiety, leading to less errors, less burnout, and improved retention rates. And most importantly, we want to continue to improve patient safety and satisfaction. We want patients to have a positive experience at what may be a difficult time for them and their families. And here are my references. Thank you.